AJ, I don't know if you heard, but Mike Vrabel, okay, is not the biggest fan of losing. No. No. You know, whenever you're when you're talking about games and preseason games and games at the end of the year that maybe don't matter, you always hear coaches say, Are they keeping score? You know, are are they excuse me, are they keeping score? Bingo. The locker room that I want to have, the team that I want to have, is a team that wants to compete at anything. Okay, you're playing ping pong, are they keeping score? Yeah. Yes. You're playing chess, are they keeping score on who's winning, who's losing? Yeah, then figure out how to move the rook. Yeah. Okay. That's what the type of person you want on your team. So that's always what coaches end up saying. Listen how Vrabel delivered that message to a reporter and said, what are you, what are you guys doing? What are you? Nothing really on the line this year. You guys kind of suck. What are you playing for? Here's Mike Vrabel talking about the situation of the Titans taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars this weekend, mm. who could win the AFC South. Mm-hmm. Now, if the Jags lose to the Titans, which this press conference gave me a lot of hope. Yeah. The winner of the Colts Texans game Saturday night in the Loud House, Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, mm-hmm. is the winner of the AFC South. A lot on the line. Here's how Vrabel, who has no implications other than just his name on the line, addressed the situation. Expand on because it sucks to lose, Gentry. <laughs> okay. Trey, you ever need to show you anything? Uh, Did you have or... another thought or no? I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> well, it it well, fucking you... sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Losing. Awful. That's why I want to win. Okay, Gentry. Because you don't sleep. You want to win for the players that bust their tail. That's it. Uh, That's other it. guy starts asking question. <laughs> Any other fucking gems? <laughs> yeah. Gentry? Pal? Now, obviously, Vrabel is a historic, legendary shit talker, is what people who are around him describe him. Like, hey, that guy will mow you down. And we've seen some press conferences where we've seen mm-hmm. Mike Vrabel. You know what I mean? We've yeah. seen the Ohio fuck Mike Vrabel. This is the greatest version I've seen. You obviously know Vrabes pretty well. Uh, what do you think was going through his head at the time? And what do you think this is a message that he's sending to the Titans locker room as well, AJ? Man, I'm, I'm sure that they those players are very aware of how frustrated Vrabes is and how bad it sucks to lose. I'm sure that is that message has gotten across, but Man, it's, it's good to see a coach. It's, we saw Dan Campbell with the radio guys. Be authentic. Be real. This is Rabe's absolutely being real, telling him exactly how he feels, not giving any coach speak, and actually coming back at him when another guy was about to ask a question. Like That's my favorite part. And see how Rabe's is, his head is just shaking for like yeah. 20 seconds. Just this like You know how pissed he is. He just wants to. Oh, man. Head. Like I, love, I would love to have talked to him. As soon as he walked off that podium. Can still steaming. How pissed still, he would be. Still oh, yeah. steaming. And then like an hour later, after the video has been seen yeah. a million All times. Over. All right, Gentry, go on, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what, do you, what, do yeah. you want? what do you want? But if that guy asking a question, a follow-up, like, probably the right play, too. Trying to read the room. All right, let's, let's, uh, move, on. let's move on. And let's I don't know on. if Rabel and Gentry's relationship has been like all season. Certainly feels like there has been quite a, a little bit of a buildup, maybe a verbal joust back and forth of a time or two. But I do love him. I am not done with Gentry. I, I don't know what you think this is, but we need to figure and sort this out. Chuck, whenever he's saying that, obviously he is at a point where he's incredibly frustrated. Anytime you lose, awful. Okay, Gentry, don't know if you know (laughs) that. But this is also, I think, you know, messaging to everybody, not just uh, him, the players, the coaching staff, the fans. And uh, has there ever been a time where you've potentially thought about saying, you know what, fuck you? And uh, did you ever? Um, No, I actually never said, you know, fuck you. Okay. What? 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 (laughs) Yeah, exactly. What's this guy? Thought about it. Uh, I'm sure Brable thought about it. Yeah. You want to, you got to. But the the thing is, I loved what Braves did, and absolutely, he's he's talking to his team, he's talking to the organization, he's talking to ownership. Like this is a perfect. They're playing a division opponent. They got Jacksonville coming to town. Spoiler: keep them from winning the division. Hell yeah! And we always used to talk. You know, no matter what the game, what it's for, you got the name on the back of your jersey, and you got the decal on the side of your helmet. And I don't give a fuck. We got 16, 17 games now that we sign up for. We're playing our asses off in every one of those situations regardless so I I love that point but when you respond to these guys and they get you going you're giving them what they want and when you don't and when you don't it's like letting them sit there with hot coals in their lap that's Mm -hmm. what I've learned so 
bite your tongue as long as you can. And then there's comes a certain point like Braves, because this ain't going at a it, to me, I loved it because Gentry was like one of his players in the in, in the team meeting. <laughs> yeah. You, know? you got something fucking else to say, Gentry? Oh, you got it all figured out, huh, Gentry? <laughs> Gentry, yeah, right. <laughs> Gentry, you know, it's on the clap and not what you think's a clap, Gentry. Yeah, and shout, out, huh? shout out to Gentry, by the way, Ooh. for, <laughs> whoa, hey, hey, hey. Shout <laughs> out to Gentry, by the way, for getting to a place with Vrabes where Vrabes feels comfortable enough to say it to Gentry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a whole other thing. You yep. know what I mean? Like, Three. I assume there is numerous reporters in there that Vrabel would not say that to. Gentry, for whatever reason, yep. whether he is a pest and a menace in there, <laughs> sure. and that's what he's looking for, or if Vrabel and he know each other pretty good. You know, there's either one I way or... I think it shows respect. I think it shows that Vrabes has respect for the guy. Not only did he, he reference it by his first name and everything, like, I don't think Vrabes does that. Or uh, was his first name? Gentry? I, a... I don't well, know. I don't know. So you know it's not a she. Hmm. I think it, he wouldn't think do that. It is. I, I think I heard. Boy, he, he he was asking, asking, yeah. I think I heard the voice. Yes, okay. so. but I do not know Gentry. We should have done a little bit more research into Gentry. But I think we just wanted to be so pro Vrabes in the entire conversation. But the more that we think about it and talk about it, it's like he's not doing that to just any. Like Gentry's yeah. got to be somebody. Yeah, yeah. You know, Gentry's got to be somebody down there. Yeah. Shout out to Gentry. Yeah, shout out. Gentry Estes, is. sports Estes. columnist. Estes. 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 Sports columnist for the Tennessee and formerly Courier Journal, 24-7 Sports, Alabama.com, Times Free Press, and others. This motherfucker has been working. And he's tired. Tired of being clever. <laughs> okay? Everybody's clever these days. <laughs> so I'm going to be a menace. I love it. I like it. He knows what he's talking about. Like he tweeted that Vrabel got riled up today. It was actually one of the more genuinely insightful moments of the Titans season. Okay. Yeah. Gentry's doing it. Hey, they Gentry, what are you doing, yeah. Gentry? Yeah. Gentry. <laughs> Sounds like Gentry gets his cheese. What? You say you don't Gentry's have to say a rat? I'm There's not no saying he's say a rat. Point. There's a lot of animals that like cheese. Not, right? not, not as much as not as much as the one that you were implying. Yeah. What rats? Yeah. Well, you were. I think because we we're talking to Marshan in the first hour, mm -hmm. and he's a pest menace. They call him rat. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know if that's Gentry's angle. I think just in this particular case, he was he. Oh, Jim Wyatt, uh, sports head coach Mike Vrabel with a smile starts pressure with an apology to Gentry for his colorful language on Tuesday. Oh, come on. I'm sure it was like, hey, sorry. It's not my Vrabel. Hey, man. Hey, uh, hey, Estes. You won yesterday. Sack of wine. Sack wow. of subs, Jenny. <laughs> Sack of fucking subs. You got <laughs> Sack of subs. You happy about it? I smoked three extra vapes last night because of you, Gentry. <laughs> yep. My heart's about to explode because of you, Gentry. Hope you're happy. Hope the Tennessean got exactly what they wanted. I apologize. I apologize. He certainly did. He yeah. certainly, we got what we want. <laughs> yeah, big can, time. Can you run that one more time here? Yes, can we run yes, that, yes, can yes. we run that one more time? Thank the you. head shake. Thank I love you. the head shake. Just as the question's coming in. All right. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, this would have been grounds for fighting, mm -hmm. but <laughs> obviously can't do that right now. Can't jump over this podium. That's oh, do you need. see? Oh, oh my God. Oh, how is that allowed vertical. to happen? How is that the first time I've seen that happen? If that's been a uh, potential outcome in court for this long. I don't know if you saw that in oh, yeah. Nevada. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's common. Look no, how high not that common. Is. No. Not common at all. But, like, I'm saying, how has this not happened? Jeez. Oh, that's how Brian Dawkins used to tackle. I mean, started he, hitting him and stuff. I mean, that's not good Alone. news for that judge, by the way. No, not at all. The judge sat in the pocket. You know, she didn't try to <laughs> yeah. evade yeah. there. Didn't have a lot of outs. I think she was kind of trapped by well, a couple of things. Yeah. I mean, you got a gavel. Like, uh, grab the gavel. Bash that what, when guy. When he's flying through the air? I mean, Boom. look, it, uh, crazy it, circumstance. Now, granted, if she does take gavel and... Oh, bah, bah, <laughs> yeah. What is she, yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah, and exactly. also... An extra 20 years. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Yeah. Gavel, jaw. Where's the, yes. Where's and the then security? gavel, 20 more years. Yeah, where's Baylor's, got, Baylor's Just like, got to get over there. Uh, I agree. And if this was uh, Judge Judy yeah. mm -hmm. or Judge Joe Bryan yeah. or, yeah. right. or oh, yeah. Judge... Steve Joe Wilkos was there. there. Mathis, and then what Steve, Steve Wilkos Harvey. did? Wasn't he a guard or something in a, in a courtroom? Steve Wilkos would have T-boned that dude and tackled him in the air. He was a cop, I think, but he was certainly guard of Jerry Springer's stage whenever those white trash hillbillies wanted to get into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm.